were testing viral Minecraft hacks to see if they really work so you don't have to. So here's another possible way to travel in Minecraft. This one uses a bunch of stacked minecarts. Oh, we just stepped on it and just launched them into outer space. All we need is a rail. We need a bunch of minecarts with TNT and that is really it. Just for a little test run, we're going to do one right here in the corner. If you put this down with a TNT on it and move it. Sorry, I, I did that wrong. Something this just did not work. This and then you move it. Should, should be exploding. So I thought it was an activated rail. Actually, it's not. What it actually is, is one redstone block with one of these on top of it. And then you put a minecart with TNT there. Now when you move it, still doesn't blow up. How is this working? I'm so confused. Why is mine not even blowing up? Maybe we just got to start with the original build to get this thing to be coming out right. So we're going to put this down, three rails, then put this down. Then if you guys didn't know, you can like infinitely stack. Oops. You can infinitely stack these. So you can see that E number in the corner going up, which means more and more of these are being placed. And then this becomes like the redstone rail with a cart. What he does is puts a cart down here, breaks this, breaks this, and then like literally just pushes it. And he, I think he gets launched or something. So I don't know. Oh, Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Look at the speed that sent us up. How high are we? Somewhere there, it shows us the height 960 that quick. Oh, you can see my builds over here. Someone tagged me on this one and said, yo, lover fella, does this thing work? A lot of caps in the comments, guys. A lot of caps. In fact, I got mine on today because we've seen a lot of caps. This one says if you put a furnace down, apparently like super speed, you're smelting or something. And it literally doesn't even make sense. What even would cause this? I don't know, but I'll tell you what. Seeing an inventory that organized just makes me go, mm. so it doesn't show how it's built. So I'm just going to preface this one, guys, by saying we go and test it, but it's possible it don't work because I built it wrong. Okay, so the basic build has a furnace in the middle, what appears to be two pistons facing the furnace, and then uh, repeaters, I guess, connected to it, which would power these on. So they're going to go really fast. So I think that all we need to do really is just make a repeating redstone circuit, which is pretty darn simple. Do something like this. Come on. Oh, these are on different tick speeds, aren't they? That's why it wasn't working. There we go. Okay, so we got our redstone repeater here. The first thing we want to do is just make sure it works. And that was the wrong way to place that. Okay. One of them's on a slower tick speed than the other. So it looks just like this, and they just punch each other. They just go boop, 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 forever. Let's get some diamond ore, because that's what people carry around with them. Put in the coal. Put in the diamond ore. <laughs> wow. Okay, now this one seems like a super way to troll your friends. You got to use creative and commands for this, but if you make a Thorns 1000 helmet and give it to a zombie, is it true that when that zombie puts it on, it basically becomes impossible to kill? I mean, it's, it's not impossible to kill, but you're going to die if you kill it. So I guess the first thing we want to do is build ourselves a little zombie cage right here. So we'll pop down a little tiny, you know, just a little torture dungeon for our guy here. You know what I'm saying, guys? Honestly, this is the type of prison I'm okay with being inside of myself. There we go. Finally. So now we got our zombie in there. We've got our helmet here. I was thinking maybe we'll just use this instead. I mean, not just the orange. Let's just give it everything. Respiration, fire protection. We're going to throw this and see if he puts it on. Because if he does, that's going to be really frightening. I don't know if he will. So maybe we'll need a few more, uh, a few more zombies in here. So we get one. You want you want more? I can give you some more. You just pick it up when you guys feel like it. You pick it up when you feel ready, okay? There is absolutely no rush here, gentlemen. You just take your time. We are not recording a video right now. Take your time. Take your time. Don't even rush. Maybe we just need a few more in there, huh? You would think at this point, one of them would be wearing one of these. Gentlemen, I've given you the world. Maybe they need a little more freedom. Like maybe they just want to walk around. So far, we we still have zero takers. It's not looking good, to be honest with you, early on. It's really not feeling like they're just gonna, they're gonna take it. I'm not saying it's a dud. I'm not saying this is cap. I'm just saying it ain't work. Hey, well, that one has one. I don't know if that's the right helmet. How do I know? I mean, it's probably not. We'll just assume it's not, but it could be. I think it might be working. I, I see two of them now with helmets on. So now we need to isolate the strong one. So if you would please get right in there. It's okay if we get a couple of uh, sneaky boys that come on. And now we're going to have it fight against an iron golem and see what happens right here, folks. So here we go. All right. No! Oh! It is the strong one. This is a super zombie. So it must be literally invincible. We're going to go in survival and just punch it once and see what happens. <laughs> Yo, my boy just took his hat off to wear a hat that I was wearing. He just actually downgraded so hard. All right, guys. Factor cap. A secret room and pillager outpost that is literally so overpowered. All right. In Java and in bedrock. So let's see what we got here. I feel like it's cap, but I don't know. Mine these blocks right here and go down and then break these blocks. Wow, you thought I was kidding. You thought you were gonna get trolled. No, there's actually some iron in the item frame. See, does that seem real? I don't think it's real. Here's a pillager outpost. Let's go see if that secret room's inside. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Here we go, a little entrance right here. And um, <laughs> I really don't know because I never visit these if this is real or not, but he, he broke it and there was like a staircase. So I'm literally breaking the entire floor to see if there is any sort of secret staircase under here. Wait, okay. I mean, so far it doesn't seem like there is, but I could be, I could be wrong. I could be looking in the wrong spot. Maybe we need to go deeper. So we'll go and spectate and see if it shows up here. And that's a negative. Dirt and stone are replaced. So anything left would reveal any secret rooms underneath this pillager outpost. And I don't see any rooms. So that means this one is another cap, guys. Put them on today because we are uncovering the liars of the internet. This is a really new cool way to hide 
hide a secret chest and you're thinking like, oh, Zach, this is, I've seen this before. No, not this particular design. At least I have not. So you probably have not either. They put a pressure plate down with a picture in front of it, which I literally didn't even know you could do. That to me is the real question. Is that possible? Because if you can do that, then you can throw an item through it, open it up, get your chest and then suck your item up in it. Apparently for this one, we'd be living inside of a bat cave. There's a lot of bats right here. So I guess our chest will be here. Only noobs use regular chests. Pros use barrels. Be a pro, use a barrel. They just look so much better. I think what we're gonna wanna do is put these on an inverter so the bookshelves would all be here like so. Those will be on a, uh, these bats need to go. I mean, I'm telling you what. Bats? freak me out. Okay, so this is going to be hooked up to a redstone inverter. So those need to be extended. So what we'll do is hook these up to a double redstone inverter line. Pop this down, pop a redstone torch down, pop the stuff on top of it. Boom, redstone inverter completed. Power all the way over here to where our pressure plate will be. And now, as you can see, that works. Bats, yo, can I get rid of these bats? How do we get rid of them? Kill all bats. Die. Leave. Yeah, I'll be honest as well. I think to me, it's a little bit sus to have one painting in the corner. So if it does work, I would probably do like more than one or like give it more time. Like anything that stands out is sus. Like this. Oh, okay. So that does seem to work. I would say do it in the exact same location just because it adds like a little bit more symmetry to it. Makes it look a little bit more real in my opinion. Anyway, here we go. The test. Boom! So you can go in here, store all of your fancy items, all of those for some reason emerald ores that you got and haven't smelted yet, you noob. Yeah, wow, that's actually fired. I bet you never knew this. Do you know who I am? I'm a professional YouTuber. Okay, whatever. Let's just see what it is. Take a furnace, smelt a coarse fruit. First off, I don't even know. Can you even smell a coarse fruit? I obviously don't use coarse fruit too often. What does that make you? A popped, is that, a, is that an item? What? What? Is that how you make end rods? No, it's not. Hold up. Oh my gosh. Do you know how much money I spend on Edrons in my Minecraft server just because I just don't know how to get them? All right, guys, let's give this one a shot today. Oh, it's going to be a quick test. This goes down. Inside of it, we're going to pop the coal and the coarse fruit, and that's already just weird to me. And then just, I guess, this with a blaze rod and uh, craft it. You guys don't understand, like, how stupid I feel at the moment if this works. And, oh, does it matter the order? Oh, my gosh. That's ridiculous to me. That is so weird. I'm just kind of speechless on this one, so I'm going to take a minute to, like, let that one seep into my body. Okay, it's seeped in. Let's move on. Okay, this one speaks to me on a personal level. I hope it's not disappointing because take a look at what's going on here. We are going to create a lava water connection that doesn't turn into cobblestone or obsidian. Now, you have to place these boxes specifically. You have to place everything in very specific locations. And the way that the game works is that it flows out and does not intersect. All you need is a lava bucket, a water bucket, and it, honestly, legit, if this one works, it is going to change the game. I, I'm really I'm really excited. I, I, you guys know I love cursed things. All right, my thumbnails are a little bit of an indication of that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is make little holes right... Oh, no, 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 hold on. I, did, I literally butchered this, guys. Hold on. Holes like this, then water in the middle. That way, the water doesn't flow out. You put two on each side, so just like this. So that's your basic design so far. Pretty easy. You guys with me? You guys follow me? You guys follow me? Is, you think that wall's gonna catch fire down there? I'm just gonna see. Would that catch fire? It's gonna catch fire. Let me change that. Through the power of meticulously replacing it oh no my oh my water messed up hold on give me a second so one away you're gonna place down your lava just like so and let that little bad boy just spread itself out spread its wings out and fly imagine it as a small baby cocoon and now that it's spread out it's a butterfly you're gonna go in and let it hatch by breaking all of this so this is really where the key moment Okay, well, that's definitely not particularly a good sign. Yeah, maybe it's just like a specific thing for us. Now we fill these up. As this spreads, you then place a block to the side, which makes it spread more. Okay, and then you do it here. And it's, as you can see, it's not interacting with the lava in any way when it goes, folks. This one is 100% cap. It does not work. I'm so sad. There is a way to supposedly make a base that self repairs itself. We're making a cobblestone generator. We are linking it up to a repeater, and I think what that's going to do is go boop, 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 and push it all out. Okay, and then more underneath it, and what that's going to do is actually push it up and regenerate your wall. So now you can see it's going to push it through, hit the limit, keep pushing it through, and so on and so forth, and like remake the wall. We'll just try lava and water and see if that makes stone. Hey, that's good. Oh, that's not good. Eventually. Finally. It was embarrassing how long that took me to make. Okay, so now we've got ourselves a little bit of a generator here. And now if I put a piston here, this will be... Actually, we'll make it this way so it can go a little bit farther. So this will push it if we put it on top of a redstone repeater. But I think for our sake, we can just use a hopper clock, guys, to make it easier. So we put one of these in here. It'll just pass back and forth. And that should give us a signal. And I think all I need for that is a redstone comparator to read that signal like this. It's not bad, but I feel like this is moving like one tick too fast. So it's like being like delayed a little bit. So we got to slow it down by a smidge. Guys, trying to get this timing right is actually very difficult. It keeps moving a little bit too quickly, so I'm trying to slow it down just a smidge. 
Oh, I have no idea why this won't move the, the pace I'd like it to move, but the redstone hopper clock worked. I just can't get it to slow down. I guess if I use a lot of repeaters, maybe it would work. You know what? I think the actual thing, the reason it's going so slow is not because of the clock, but just because that's how long it takes the lava to flow. I think that, I think I just wasted all my time because it's not actually redstone. It's actually just a lava issue. Once you have this thing extended, what you're going to want to do is get all of your pistons underneath. So let's go ahead and do that real quick through the power of editing. It'll be done in three, two, one. Each of these then hooked up to a redstone repeater again in three, two, one. And finally, we connect the redstone to our repeater at the beginning. No! <laughs> Honestly, I, I took this one on and I thought this will be really easy to make. But now that I'm actually here making it, I am realizing how this is actually a very, very difficult build to pull off correctly. This is not the most efficient way to make one of these. This is apparently a, a super cannon. I've, I've never seen this design in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, it just launches you like infinitely until you hit something. I feel like it's probably fake. I don't know. So let's go ahead and get in here and get this thing set up, guys. Okay, so there's one in the ground. Redstone comes out of the back of it. I have to pre-build this to know where these things will be going. It's not easy, okay? There's our piston when they extend and then we put it on top and then make it slam down and this is gonna just squash you all right turn you into a little little human pancake a little squish you huh okay that's probably weird to say but redstone looks good there i mean to be honest with you it seems like all we would do is extend straight over and then like i don't know man is that even gonna power it like i, I feel like you need a repeater or something but hey let's just go ahead and do it like that but how do you do the top one easily my boy just does a basic staircase just like so let's go ahead and pop our lever in right here I mean, technically, it seemed like it worked. Like, the timing felt optimal right there. Yeah, so we just basically says stand here and push the piston. I feel like it's not going to work, but let's give her a shot, I guess. Right, here we go. Well, that's an F. Let's not give up yet. Maybe it's all about positioning, and we were just positioned incorrectly. That's still not working for me. Still no? Guys, I just don't know if this works. All right, gamers, if you're watching my trade-up series, which if you're not, you probably should click the end of this video because we'll link it for you to watch. I have a boat that moves quickly. It's like a boat path tunnel thing. Anyway, this is apparently like one of the quickest ways to move and it goes so fast, it looks like you're moving backwards. <laughs> so it's like this ice design with water in the sides, but the speed that this thing has is just off the charts. So for this one, what we're gonna need is a giant swath of unopened and unobstructed grass, which should be right about here. Blue ice is probably what we want. And we're just gonna build like a little template here. This would be where the water should flow into if I did this correctly. So let me see. Well, that didn't work at all. How did it get the water to stay? I thought the water would just flow into the hole, but it spreads out everywhere. Does the water hole need to be deeper? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's two blocks. You can barely tell, but the water is flowing two blocks. So this needs redesigned. So it looks like the water is like this, and then it flows two blocks. There. So I think that's the path, but he moves so quick, it just looks like one. So that is like the basic pattern. Theoretically, if I do this correctly, we can infinitely copy this. So if I stand here and do stack 25, that should about perfectly stack it. And it's got like a really weird pattern on both sides, which I kind of like. So we can now do a stack to like, I don't know, 100. Grab ourselves a little boat right here and get this sucker on the road. So let's see how fast she is. All right, off the bat, it, uh, okay, well, that obviously did not, I would just say it could have gone better, but he did have, like, a little bit of a launcher on his, so maybe we need that. Look at that, we did it perfectly. Okay, so that is one that builds up the speed, and then once you're there, he's, like, right in the center of the path, so... Let's try it. It's not exactly a speed demon in my opinion, but there's such a high chance I didn't do this exactly right. I mean, I'm pretty sure it works. I don't know how you could fake a video like that. Like it definitely looked real. If you like this video, click right here to start my trade up playlist. It is a 30 episode long and counting playlist to become the richest player on my Minecraft server. Peace. <laughs>